Hello friends, our next adventure begins here in beautiful South Carolina. I'm glad you're here. Stopped here in the Welcome Center, picked up a, a map and a travel guide for South Carolina. Had a nice conversation with the attendants here about some nice features of South Carolina. Today is an exciting day. Welcome to Saluda Park. I'm in Saluda, South Carolina. I've never been to this little town before. It's not our final destination today. We're gonna to head to a town about 15 minutes away for the start of the next adventure. And this is going to be a big adventure, friends. I'm really glad you're here for this. This, this is the key that I've been using for about the last six months. Only one key goes to the Honda. This is going to be a new set of keys that I add on today. Because of my lovely girlfriend, partner, uh, and her encouragement, we have decided to do something very interesting. We have purchased a building in a small town nearby here. Never been to this small town. I've never seen this building in person. In fact, only seen pictures, made an offer, didn't really think that it was going to happen, but it did. And now we are the owners of a building in Johnston, South Carolina. I feel a little crazy and I'm very, very excited about this. So glad you're here. Let's check out this park. Yes, I will be moving out of Florida. Sarah and I will be missing the Tampa Bay area. I love it there and I do plan to go back and live there eventually, but not until this this new adventure is all taken care of. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. The future is bright, my friends. It's very bright. It's very bright right here too. It's a nice day out. If you watch this channel for any amount of time, you know that I love abandoned buildings. You know, I love these off the beaten path historical places. And I love making videos. One thing I've had a challenge with, and I mentioned this in the last video, was making how-to videos. And most of the time that has been taken up not making videos in the last several months has been on construction projects that, well, I just find kind of frustrating to film and, and edit. So I'm going to, I'm gonna get into that. I'm going to attempt to show you some of the skill set that I have on this new project. Hopefully you, you like that sort of thing. It may not be for everybody, but a lot of people like those how-to videos and I think I could help some people out in, in learning how to do some of these things around the house that you might think are a little too difficult, but they're really not. So we're gonna dive into a lot of that on this new project, which happens to be an abandoned building. An abandoned bank actually. A very old bank. Can't wait to see it. Oh boy. Well, there it is. Okay, here it is. The old bank. Okay, Sarah. Here we are. I can't believe it. I can't either. <laughs> Most people watching this are probably thinking that we're crazy. I'm right thinking now. we're crazy, so I'm right there with them. Well, no, we are. That's that's good though. It's part of why I I love you. Aww. So we haven't seen inside this building besides pictures. It it looks a little better than what I what I thought. I thought it was actually limestone facade, but it's not. It's like a ceramic. I don't think it is. I'm not sure what. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what what any of this really is. So let's go in and check it out for the first time, huh? All boarded up. Oh, right across the street from the police station. We're gonna attempt to record our reaction here. Since there's <laughs> only two of us, and we've never been in. She's gotta record the inside and I'll record us. So we got the, the top the lock. Okay. There's two That's levels here. Down. There's an uh, apartment up above and a, the retail space below. No, that's the wrong key. Stand by. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, it's 
really we're creepy. Like, here we are. <laughs> Wow, There's not much here besides a lot of debris. I didn't see all this in the pictures. We got wow, some this is marble. Marble here, quite a, quite a lot of it. Pretty big windows, big pile of rocks and brick. <laughs> you can't see now, but there's some tin ceilings up here, a nice ornamental centerpiece. And um, there's some, some tile down here, some mosaic tile. Cool design. Looks like the original windows here with with bricks blocking them up. Here's the fireplace that well doesn't exist anymore. Looks here that somebody tried to do some stucco repair on this brick. <laughs> I was hoping that the brick would be nice enough to keep exposed, but it looks pretty, looks pretty bad. I found a radio. Hopefully that works when we finally turn the power on. Now speaking of power, there's the electric panel cover and the electric panel. I don't think it's doing any good down there on the ground. This was a bank originally, then it turned into the post office. Then it was Jones's laundromat for a long time. The only pictures that we could find online about this place were from when it was a laundromat in the 80s. Pretty neat to see some of the old cars parked out front and such. You can see the remnants of the laundromat stuff throughout the building here. A lot of big water pipes and, and so on. But no electric and no water right now. There's no drainage in here. I see the drain pipes. There's a couple. It's gonna take a while to get this up to working order. Well, online we saw this little room back here and thought that it was much bigger than this tiny closet. <laughs> I thought it was a lot bigger. Oh well. Okay, now it's time to go see our new apartment. <laughs> this is what I'm most excited about, is this part. Again, door problems. Stand by. Okay. Looks like we got some trash to clean out down here. Pair up here, but it seems okay. Ooh, watch your step. Yeah, don't fall down the stairs. Oh boy. Just like the pictures. Fireplace. Oh. OG. We're walking very gingerly around here. There's some floor problems, as you can see. Not good at all. <laughs> the windows look really good, though. You can refinish those. No problem. Huge. Been looking at the window here. It's very old not really usable but it's in good enough shape to make a template and remake these windows bring them back to life now the brick walls up here look like they could be exposed with a little bit of cleaning this looks pretty nice it would be quite a job to take off all of this plaster love the windows oh well hey honey we got a new ladder big one there's a second fireplace. I didn't know this. Wow. I can't wait to pull the boards off of these windows and get some light in here and see what it really looks like. Love this window. The old doors with the transoms. I, <laughs> I think we, we got a good find here. We, we got a good building. What do you think? I think it's ours. It's awesome. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is pull the plastic off. See one broken one there. 
That's okay. These are awesome, huh? Another big giant hole in the floor. I think we need to fix this actually first. <laughs> so the key's down next to this book here. What is this? Corporation right there. Oh. Well, how interesting. This is quite cool. There's all these notes from attorneys and such. A uh, newspaper article that I think is required to incorporate a business. Just from 1975. It's pretty clear we have a lot of work to do. Wow. We're gonna walk around town a little bit, see what's shaking. We noticed there is a sports bar somewhere around town, so we're gonna go check that out, see if we can meet some people, maybe make a plan for what the heck we're gonna do with this building, where we're gonna to sleep tonight. I don't know any of this stuff. So the question is, would you have made an offer if you had seen that place before we went through with the sale? Yes, absolutely. Me too. Yeah, I, I'm not intimidated by anything I saw in that building. I'm intimidated, but I'm excited too. So far we have a Christian cafe, the Hong Kong Chinese restaurant takeout. And that's, that's all I know about so far. I see the mural down on the, the building I've seen online several times. I don't know what this little building is. A historical marker about Johnson and the water tower with the peach on it. We are in the peach capital of the world. Yes, South Carolina. Johnston, specifically. Peach capital. Not Georgia. Not Georgia. It's right here. We eventually did find a place to hang out and were successful in meeting a few of the locals, including one that lived in our upstairs apartment when he was just a kid in the 1930s. What a coincidence. We didn't stay long, though. We had an early day ahead of us with a lot to do. Good morning, friends. We spent the night here in the building last night, even though we were tempted to get a motel room because it's so dark and possibly uncomfortable. But we had no signs of little critters running around or anything really, it was pretty peaceful. All but the, the train that goes by a couple times during the evening and blasts its horn. But that was pretty soothing to me, I like it because I grew up next to a train track so I'm used to that sound. It really made me feel very calm. That was the only disruption, it was okay though. It was pretty fun staying in here. Let me show you where we exactly stayed. This is all the stuff that we brought with us on this trip. You see we have it on this tarp so it's protected from all the dirt. We'll organize all this a little bit later, but here's where we stayed on this little deflated air mattress. Yep, both of us stayed on that air mattress. Well, I stayed on half of it over here and then uh, mostly on that floor, but we're, we're set up. It was okay. Right here amongst the rubble. We got up early this morning, headed over to a local town, Aiken, where there's a Home Depot and some other stuff going on. Poked around a little bit, had breakfast at a cool little spot, got some supplies. Came back here, we were just checking out the town. We we're getting water turned on tomorrow, so we're gonna stay one more night here in the, in the building, and then head back to Florida, pick up some stuff. But in the meantime, we're gonna clean up and, and get ready whatever we can for our return in a few days we'll get a lot more work done. Friends, thanks for joining me and Sarah here at our new abandoned old bank in Johnston, South Carolina, peach capital of the world. Glad you joined us. I'll see you in the next video.